They'll be calling you a radical. I want a lot to talk about Fukushima today. We've got, of course, the bigger, more aggressive typhoon with a bullseye, the greatest gift that ever happened to Westinghouse, yeah. Toshiba, General Electric, so they could just massively dump, which they've been massively dumped the whole time. They tell you in your face. Even the Washington Post comes out now. I love how you have to be boiled like a frog. They soy push, and you journalistic, you know what's, all of you, you Uncle Tom cabin media, you think you're above this? You're not above this. You're not above this. So many of you are going to get cancer and die, and you could keep propaganda. I love this pizza that went over to Pandora's Promise. What a clown. What a joke. I want to talk to you guys, and let's lay this debate out. You want to have this debate with me? Let's have this debate. It is my work, my work, that proves that autism is nuclear fallout. Others have done work that proves nuclear fallout is multiple sclerosis. The government study themselves proves that nuclear fallout is leukemia, dead leukemia. I'll lay out a bunch of scenarios for you guys who still want to profitcate nuclear. The debate was over on April 26, 1986. The debate, 311 11 was over. I can't even believe we're even having these discussions as they got to boil you like the frog and you fall for it. And the media goes for it. I've told the truth. Fukushima is killing over a thousand people a day in North America every day. It is safer to live in Tokyo. Well, that might end with the typhoon as it blows it back over. Look, autism. I was very autistic as a child. I, I, I didn't understand it. It was complex. It's a complex disease. Okay, I'm going to lay out some scenarios in this debate. You want to have this debate? Let's have it. You know, you're going to go, oh, peer review with Sanjay Gupta? I will tag this. And you read this. This was the 26th of March. He was over there when he came. And you tell me, this guy does not belong in a prison cell. Sanjay Gupta is a practicing neurosurgeon. He violated the law by this. Grotesque. Of course, we do not force laws. White collar crime is not only legal, it is encouraged. The Washington Post is finally bleeding a little bit out. This has been bumping. The Pacific Genocide is very real. I love all you marine biologists who say that you uh, love the dolphins. You love them. You don't love anything. You're a little bit of money you have. Nobody will break ranks. You have no integrity. I know the permanent boys are out there. First. That's three scenarios. I'll talk about a personal first, first, personal. My father, the nuked in the Nevada test site, drafted Marine. His siblings, there's eight of them. He's the only one dead. They're all well in their 80s, pushing 90. He was the healthiest of them all. They're all alive, except him. He died of AML leukemia. As so many people who watch this, if I've exposed it, you know, and a lot of you people that watch it, you know your fathers died of leukemia at 62, at 58, at 54, at 63, at 52, that were in the test site, and they got no money. They erased them from humanity. They just took out a eraser. That's what they do. That data exists. The 40,000, I'm that, I've read it online over and over. I sued for it and sued for it and dug into it. The government will tell you themselves. And remember, these guys didn't live in that thing, thesis. It was just a blast. Okay, so there's that data out there as far as leukemia. Now... Me, I had a pretty healthy lifestyle. I have the same disease as him. Oh, it doesn't mutate. How can you say that it... Okay. And they say, well, that's a small NSAID. Well, there were 40,000 of them. Let's talk the bigger NSAID. Let's talk the bigger subset study, Chernobyl. Chernobyl. As she says in the Battle of Chernobyl, Ale, which I think is the greatest line of our time, she said this long before Fukushima happened in 2006 at a war one And if none of you have ever watched the Battle for Chernobyl, that documentary is a must to watch. She says... The worst thing to come out of that melted down reactor at Chernobyl was not plutonium, was not cesium, it was lights. Oh boy, it set the table as the lie, as the nuclear thesis is breaking down. We don't have a greater demand for energy, we have a lower demand for energy via technology, solar, 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 solar. We've heated this freaking world. Humans have used the sun for millions and millions of years. Millions of years. This is a scam profit on you, and for somehow you go to the fact, oh, the alternative to the global warming, which global warming is very real. Any egotistical asshole that does not believe that that's real, you think about that. You think about it. We could just dump all these carbons into the atmosphere for hundreds of years with no repercussions. That is, it's so illogical to think that is even possible. Of course, these are the same people that will tell you the Earth is four or five million years, or four or five thousand years old. Look. Al Gore is a fraud. He's a total fraud. And I'll, I'll lay out that case. Number one, 
He was charged twice as he's getting a massage and he tried to grope those girls. Ask Tipper. He was charged twice. Not one girl came forward, another one came forward. He's a fraud. His big house sucking up anything. But compared to the GOP, <laughs> those evil, they're completely I insane. The Bush thesis, I mean, that Bush cartel, evil family, criminals, criminals, criminals. I'm a family. Come here, come here, come sit with Grandpa. No, I'm sitting on Okay, you sit on your little chair. I'll be All right. Grandpa. All right, Utah, right here. The autism capital of the world, one in 44. One in 32 boys. What's different here? People say, oh, vaccination. No, no, no. I did in my PhD. I broke it down. We vaccinated the exact same level as the United States need. What's different here? The gene pool? We have one of the most device gene pools on earth. We're so similar to the rest of the country. There's one thing. 300 open air tests in Nevada down winters. One thing. These mountains in this desert don't just catch snow. We knew what down winters were and somehow everyone forgot. Plutonium didn't forget. How do you argue with that science? How do you argue with it? Anybody, bring it on. Bring it on. And you say, oh, peer review? What? Sanjay Gupta is going to peer review you? These propaganda that the GE and the nuclear industry has got their fingers in all of academia. They've completely taken over academia. You can't even have this. And because why? Because you allow it. You allow it. Why do you allow it? as a professor, and because you're afraid of them, because no one has any integrity anymore. You won't step forward. Multiple sclerosis. They're all autoimmune diseases. Cancer. How can you say that nuclear fallout is... It's, okay, let's talk about the carbon footprint of nuclear fallout. The carbon footprint. You have to mine the uranium. You have to enrich the uranium. It's filthier and dirty than any dirty coal ever green. And coal is dirty. And any one of you more, oh, coal, dirty coal's and clean coal's an oxymoron. That's not true. Coal could be teamed up 99%, but we don't even need either one of them. The sun, the sun. We have a grid. That's where we say, oh, the grid. We're putting on solar farms in southern Utah left and right. They're going on. We're so behind the curve on this freaking thing. This is because this is a cartel. Bravo, bravo, magnifico in Italy. You know, they want no part of it. They don't even mess around with this. Germany's backed out. Switzerland's backed out. You know, the United States has become, look, we do not have a sovereign wealth fund in the United States. They're not all like, oh, we go to Iraq, we're going to get their oil. Really? You shell oil? The queen owns the freaking 30% of Rio Tinto R mining apparatus here. She owns BP. Just think about when they sealed off the public beaches at BP. Sealed them off for BP. Who owns this country? The natural resource owners. The royal family. Now, all these so-called oligarchs and these families that owned all these things, they always existed. How do we fight back? That's what the revolution is. We fought back with tariffs. We fought back with usury laws. We fought back with popular opinion, which we have now. You support your very abusers. You want to argue with me? Bring it on. Bring it on. The nuclear cartel is evil. I don't even understand how... What part of Fukushima do you not get? What part... The Pacific Genocide, the moose are dying, the sea lions are dying, the starfish are freaking dying, the garfish showing up are dying, the whales with tumors on their heads. You get close to Japan, there's no sea life left. I mean, it's being, genocide is not a total white lie. You don't even know the definition of the words. I use Wall Stegner's quote. If you think the Germans invented genocide, you know nothing about the American West. Think about this, 14 million Native Americans. By the time we got done, these evil creeps, Less than a million. Do American Indians still exist? Yeah. Were they tried to attempt genocide? Yeah, that was genocide. Do Jews still exist? Yeah. And I love all you anti-Semitics. I love all you racists. I love all you freaking weirdos that just go. You can spin anything into your own sick dynamic. Not me. Not me. I understand this is about wealth. This is about control. This is about the money. But more than that, this is us allowing that to happen. You want to debate me? Debate me. Bring it on. Autism. And this is my work. I am the only one who's done any of this work. The only one on earth. This is me. Autism is nuclear fallout. Period. It is unarguable. I could prove it over and over and over. Nuclear fallout is the rate of cancer. Look, we survived cancer much we did. Until post Fukushima. The cancer rates are spiky. The survival rate has, is going negative. People are getting more aggressive cancers over and over, and it's wiping them out. This study coming out of the CDC, who, those liars, you know they melt everything down, but the study comes out that the number one killer in the United States of our children now is cancer. If that doesn't alarm you, 
Well, alarm you. Well, I mean, what do you know? Bring it on. You want to have a debate with me? And tell Pop your opinion. Realize we still have the power in this country under our Constitution. Now, the Patriot Act freaking took it over, but we still do have representative government. And if you don't believe that, you're a fool. Because you're, the American populace, the politicians are no more ignorant than the American populace, thus post-ignorance. They watch polls, I'm telling you. And if we rose up, the pop, your opinion rose up and says, we want no nuclear. We demand that freaking, you pull this freaking subsidies of nuclear. Twelve all other energy sources. What runs this country? The Department of Energy. They suck up more money, government taxpayer money, than all other 12 alternative energies, all energies combined. General Electric is the greatest defense contractor. I mean, it all falls into the same evil cabal of cartel. It's wealth and power. These people are filthy, stinking rich, whether it be the military, whether it be the board members of Westinghouse, Toshiba, you know, right here, Western Zirconia, where they moxie the fuel in their secret plants right here. You know, it's all the same thing. It's wealth without work. I mean, you ever been in a nuclear reactor? The overhead is nothing. There's a, a small handful of people that work there. It's the greatest cash cow in human history. I mean, to boil water in that fashion, Heinz Sam was right. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. We don't need it, and it's killing us. Yet, you support your very killers. I see post-ignorance as a peer movement in the concept of art itself, in the concept of art as culture, in the concept that people are culture, in the concept that inspiration and influence are great historical artists, like Van Gogh and Millet, like Pollock reference Skinensky, like Monet's to the sunlight, morning, dawn, winter, fall, summer, spring. It is influenced by the invogueness of the time. My look at culture and the art thereof today, economic theory, popular culture, art, or more reality, the lack thereof art. The mind of seeing when others, for some undercognitive reason, do not see. Everyone saw light from millenniums. Everyone saw a simple light from millenniums. Everyone saw eclectic color from millenniums. But it's more per se than the artist. Monet saw the light. Millet saw the struggle. Van Gogh saw the line. Smithson saw the simplicity of the line and shape against the landscape. Kaninsky saw the election of color and shape. Pollock saw the color of dynamics and motion, but much more than that they saw decades ahead of the yeah. truth. Their minds saw fact and truth. Their minds were strong enough to act upon what they understood when all others did not understand, not yet. They had strong backs and knew how to work. They were the purification of ambition, intelligent, education, smooth, with worth it. I visualize now for two decades, via my hawk and trial, Via my keyboard, via my paintbrush, via my cardboard three dollar throwaway camera, via my flip camera, my soapbox, YouTube, via my websites is this poetic injustice to the entire world, wars without provocation, pain without a crime, love without an artistic spirit, ignorance with a club, big club. As a counter, I have termed neo ignorance is post ignorance. I see post ignorance like this as a movement in pure intellectualism, in a broad intellectual. Not I know history, not I know how to draw like a camera, not I know how to interpret, not I know how to incorporate, but I know culture, I know environments in a more exposed manner. I know economics, I know geopolitics, I know metaphors, good and bad, I know struggle, and what it feels like to be stolen in wealth, artistic and benevolent. I wrote that 10-10-10. I coincided it with the death of John Lennon when I believe this whole madness began. We have the ability to take this back. This is, the United States has always taken it back. Lincoln took it back. McKinley took it back. Tried. Even Teddy Roosevelt. FDR took it back. I mean, we've, you support your very repressors. The GOP has really evolved, and you know, the Democrats too. I'm a progressive. I am a progressive. The Democrats, they're not progressives. I, they're, you know, let's have an organic tomato and have a latte and sit around and have a debate. The old environmentalist is worthless. I mean, they want to jump in now? <laughs> Go back to sleep. Where you been? I mean, Rip Van Winkle would love you. That's who they all look like, by the way. The GOP supports a very, they're so erratic, they are the Queen's soldiers. They are all the Queen's men. We need to take the, we have tools to take this back. We have a Constitution to allow. Yeah, they backdoored the Constitution with the Patriot Act. We need to repeal the Patriot Act. You know, it's pretty sad that guys like Snowden and these great American patriots that they are, you know, there's a reason that all those guys that left that are over there in Russia call themselves the new sons of liberty and give that award. Sam Adams wouldn't even recognize this country. And you think you're just going to take up arms. And that's not how you do this. You take up with your mind. 
We have the ability, we have to shift pop their opinion. We have to put these radicals in their place, these lunatics. It's all about this. Educate yourself. Anybody wants to debate me, bring it on. Bring it on. You know, your Pandora's promise, you idiots, you fools that propagate. And this somehow that nuclear is the answer to dirty coal? Wow. That's like saying arsenic is the answer to cyanide. The answer is the sun. It always has been. California is doing it. So much of the world's in it. The technology exists. We're doing it. Even China's backing out of nuclear. People don't get that. They are backing out. Now, given that I see that in our media, because who are our media? General Electric, Westinghouse, Toshiba. You know, and you'd fall for it. Rupert Murdoch, the greatest terrorist, second greatest terrorist in world history. The greatest terrorist in world history, bar none, is Alan Greenspan. And I can break this all down to economics. But anybody? Know this, nuclear fault is autism, nuclear fault is multiple sclerosis, nuclear fault is cancer, all cancers, and the, the more cumulative is, the deadlier the cancer. Live like you have cancer before you have cancer. Understand, educate yourself, and know these things, and protect your children, protect yourselves, not with some pill. You're not going to say, oh, you guys think it's all cure appeal to everything. I don't take any medicine, and I was on like, I mean, what they wanted me on? No way, no way. I started walking. I, I did a lot of things against doctor orders, but I listened to my doctors, and I had great oncologists. I should have never lived. I mean, the survival rate of this, but I diagnosed myself because of my knowledge and because of my understanding, because of my autistic nuclear atomic brain. I learned to channel this energy. It took me a long time. It took me until I was 50 years old. As my father said, boy, you're way too pretty to have an opinion. I tell him, buddy, you know, you think I was born with these scars across my face? It took years living in this violent place. I am not afraid of any of them. Not the intellectual. The intellectual mobs are turning nuclear, and you are on the wrong side of history. Now, is it too late for so many of us? And what they're doing in the Pacific is so grotesque. What? History's going to look back and see what all these people that participated in this, from A to Z. It's hideous. It is hideous what they did. Stay in tuning.